Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. If you've been around here for a while, you know that I have mentioned how I am a member of the Japanese Sailor Moon fan club, which is called Pretty Guardians. Because of that, I am able to get access to some items that are just available to Japanese members of the fan club, not internationally. I'm able to have this fan club membership because I do have a Japanese ad Address, and I use that for all my shipments, which come from the Japanese fan club. So today I have a box full of all sorts of different membership items, and I'm super excited to show you these. So let's go ahead and unbox, haul, and review all these new Sailor Moon fan club items. Okay, so these are all sorts of different items that I've gotten through the fan club over the past year or so. I have been collecting all of these into a box for quite some time, so it's about time that I record an unboxing video for you. I'm going to go ahead and start with the largest item on this table, which is a collection of phone cards. Now these are all really, really beautiful memorial trading cards or phone cards that originally came out a while back, but I think these were reprints. So here we have this beautiful, it's almost like a plaque. It's like absolutely gorgeous. I love how they designed this piece. And this features a bunch of really beautiful gold cards that have manga illustrations of all of the senshi. It says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. It has an acrylic cover and nails on each end. Now it came with these. So in order to display this as a standee, I can install these onto the back of this display where these four posts are. I just unscrew these, screw these in, and then I can display it on a table. Is this something that you would collect? It's so mirror-y. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm able to add that to my collection. That's really cool. Okay, next up, we have some bonus items, which were like sign-on items. These are all reprints of some vintage items. So First, we have this really cute gift bag. Y'all know that I love my gift bags. So here's a gift bag with Chibiusa on the front. And we have this beautiful manga illustration of the Inner Sailor Senshi on the back. This is a Nakayoshi notepad set, which was reprinted for the fan club. So we have stickers in here. There's some pieces of paper that you can write on in there, some cute little envelopes. And then on the back, we have these cute little note cards. Let's open this. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so this one is a official card file from Nakayoshi 1993. So again, a reprint. Oh, that's cool. So you can stick little trading cards in here. That's really cute. This is definitely going in my stationary collection. Look at all the pretty illustrations too. Look at that beautiful illustration of Usagi. I also got my Pretty Guardian fan club membership cards. So here's the first one and I have my other fan club card. You get a new card every single year. So I have a collection going of fan club cards now. As you continue to be a fan club member, you also end up with pins that they send you every year and each one is a little bit different. So this year I got the one that says special membership Prism Stars. I don't know how many years you have to be a member to get the Prism Stars fan club pin, but that's the newest one that I have. Each year they also include some kind of new item that's jewelry related or something similar to that. This year, we got a series of charms. So here's the set of charms. So we have Chibi Moon's one. We have the Cosmic Heart Compact. There's the Spiral Heart Moon Rod, as well as Luna. Those are really adorable. I like that they have little gemstones on them too. So fan club members also receive a newsletter. If you are international, you only get a digital newsletter, but since I am a Japan member, I get the physical newsletter. Each of these is different and each of them are numbered. So let me put these in order and then we'll take a look at them. Okay, so I got them all unboxed and here you can see I have volumes 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Some of these come with little bonus extras, so I'll run through those as well and each of them is themed on the front based on a specific character. So here we have one from 2019, 2020. You can tell it's rather old. We have some information about Shining Moon Tokyo, which is now closed. So sad, I wish I could have gone to that. We have some really cute 
art on here of some of the merchandise, some music information, all fan art. 15 has, so here we have some vintage information about some of the previous Nakayoshi items. This is one of the Sailor Moon uh, fan club membership items that I got. I'll show you that. Not sure what this page is about. I'll have to translate that. Is this a recipe? Oh my gosh. Look, it's a recipe to make your own little, what are those, cake pops? Oh my goodness, how cute. Oh my gosh, those are so adorable. So here we have the four generals made out of food. They do display a lot of like Sailor Moon fan club membership fans on this last page. So that's always really fun to look at. Volume 16, Small Worlds Tokyo. I did an unboxing previously of a bunch of Small Worlds Tokyo items so if you missed that check my channel this is cool it has a whole bunch of information in here about it then we have some vintage memorabilia in here information about the color manga and the last page features some fan club members and their photos that they sent in so with volume 17 which is 2020 2021 we also got a postcard for 2020. You can tell this is very old. Volume 17 has information about the movies. Makes sense given the timing. Sailor Moon store information. Oh, this is the petite store that they opened up. More vintage items in here. These are really great to look through to see if you've collected like all these different vintage items. And some more fan art and fan photos. Volume 18, information about the art book and some of the merch for the movies. We have the Sailor Moon Cafe in here, which was featured in, I believe that was 2021. Wedding collaboration, how beautiful is that? I love seeing all the imagery from the wedding collaboration. It was absolutely gorgeous. And some fan art. 19, bunch of information about the Q Posket series. There are a lot of Q Poskets at this point. This was, I believe, an escape game. We have another Makoto corner. Somebody made a little Artemis out of snow. How cute is that? Volume 20. This is about the musical that happened last year. The escape game, I believe. Who news? So cute. Information about Punyus. Then we have the blue. Oh, this is cool. Look, this is a map of all the places that Eternal happened. So this is actually in Tokyo. Now that is very cool. Good to see too. I'm definitely going to use this for next time I go to Tokyo so I can do a little Sailor Moon tour of all the different places. Oh, this is nice. Very nice cardstock advertisement advert that was included in the packaging for the Posket series. Here we have another little advert. This is of the musical that happened last year. Volume 21, on the first page we have some illustrations. I don't know what it says, so I'll have to translate that. Sailor Moon store information, Sailor Moon store anniversary, the fourth anniversary. I can't believe it's been around for four years. Another Makoto kitchen corner. Fan meeting 2021. Super bummed this was another one of those events that I wasn't able to go to, but I love this illustration from the fan event. It is so pretty. Some more really, really cute art from fans. This is volume 22. So this is from 2021 to this year, 2022. So first we have the illumination event, which I just did a merch unboxing of those items. Some information on the food that you could get at the event. This looks like some wedding information for the wedding collaboration. We have some Nakayoshi and vintage items shared here. Sailor Moon store info. And the last page features more fan art. So cute. So since these volumes come out pretty often from the Pretty Guardian fan club, they also did a little envelope that you can put all of your Pretty Guardian volumes, the little magazines into. It's made out of a nice plastic material. I thought it was gonna be cardboard or cardstock, but it's not, it's a nice plastic material. And there's several sleeves in here for these volumes. So I'll be able to slip them all in here. Super cute. Not too much to say about this other than it's got like the transformation brooch on the back and the pens, the transformation pens. And then we also have a silhouette of Sailor Moon on the front and it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. So this will be very nice and useful for storing all of my little fan club magazines, yay. One thing that I did wanna point out is you often get access to additional items like DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs. So I did grab this really cute physical CD of music from the movies. So this is by these artists. I don't know how to say that name correctly, so I'm not gonna say it because I always screw it up. This has a whole bunch of music in it. Momoiro Clover Z. Now this beautiful box set is the character song collection for Eternal, Sailor Moon Eternal. Oh, that is so pretty. 
beautiful box set. So this has, oh, this is the one that came with the bracelet. Yay. Okay, cool. So first we have the Eternal Collection CD, which features all the songs on it, the character collection. It looks like there's 11 different songs on here. It's not bad. It's a good collection. And this is a very pretty bracelet. I believe this was limited edition to the fan club. It says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal, Moon Crisis Makeup. And in the center, we have a couple of little hearts, which are made out of little pink crystals and the Crisis Moon brooch. It's a bangle very pretty bracelet and it fits really well. And then here we have the Sailor Moon character collection. There were two makeup brushes that you could get through the Sailor Moon fan club. I got the really cute pink one because I like the design of the handle more so than the other one that you could have chosen from or you could have gotten both. I just decided to get this one. It's heart shaped, which is really interesting. I don't know if this is vegan or not, so don't ask. <laughs> and then on the bottom, we have a whole bunch of Sailor Moon's icons. And on the back, we have the transformation pen. Isn't that cute? Now to go along with the makeup brush, we also got a hand mirror. And this is very, very nice. I can already tell because it's like so heavy, but this is the Pretty Guardian's original hand mirror, which you could only get as a fan club member. This was available internationally. So if you were an international member, you also had access to this. So on the back, we have the Cosmic Heart Compact, and this is made out of a really pretty rose gold metal. It has a fold out handle, so you can flip it over and there's your mirror. Hello, everyone. I like this a lot. It's very heavy. It is metal. It's very, very sturdy. It feels like it's really high quality. It feels really good. And I like how stiff this handle is because you can then set it down on a table and use it for applying your makeup. That's really cool, very thoughtful. The only thing that's missing from this is some kind of bag or a storage container so you can actually like carry it with you. There's nothing like that in the box for this. So that's something I would use one of my extra little makeup bags for, is to just put this in something that's safe so that I could carry it with me. That is pretty, very, very nice. Nicely done, Sailor Moon fan club. Now, remember how I was mentioning uh, a little makeup set with Luna? when I saw it in one of those books. This is that set. So it comes with a few different pieces. First, we have another makeup brush. There's a theme going on here and we got a little Artemis head up at the top. It says Sailor Moon Nakiyoshi. This is also a little makeup bag. Oh my gosh, is this for your makeup brushes? Look at that cute little Luna face. That's adorable with her little bug eyes and the little tail. Oh my goodness. How cute is this? Oh yeah, this is perfect for makeup brushes. So you can take your makeup brush, stick it in here, and then it'll be nice and safe. Oh my goodness. How adorable is that? I love it. That's so cute. I don't know what's in here. Let's find out. I don't remember what came with this set. It's makeup, so cute. Here we have a cute little eyeshadow set. On the front it says Sailor Moon Luna Nakayoshi. On the back we have the Pretty Guardians logo. And on the inside it features a little eyeshadow set. So here's a very simple pink color, a white color. We have yellow, a light brown, like a bronze color. And then we have a darker shade of brown. So pretty basic colors, but definitely useful. Neutrals for sure, nothing super exciting there, but I do like that they have a bit of a sheen to them. That's cute. And that can also fit in the weird Luna makeup bag. Look how cute it is. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I love that makeup bag, that's so cute. The Sailor Moon Fan Club also gets a special uh, scheduling book for the year. And it's usually different from the ones that are available through the Sailor Moon store. I don't remember if this one is the Sailor Moon Pretty Guardians Fan Club exclusive one or not. I'll check online and let you know. But this is a 2022 schedule book. On the front, we have this really beautiful holographic icon imagery of Sailor Moon's compacts, all of them. She has all of her compacts on there. Well, actually not all of them, most of them. <laughs> so here we have the Eternal Tiare, there's the Crisis Moon brooch, there's the Cosmic Heart compact, there's the um, Crystal Star brooch, and then we have the interior of them as well. That's really pretty. I like the colors and I love this lavender color for this notebook, for the schedule book. I think it's very nice. In the name of the moon up at the top. And then on the inside, it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. 
with her classic brooch. And then we have 2022. So this is the 2022 notebook. There's a bunch of imagery in here. I won't go through every page, but it's, it's cute. I generally don't use these because I don't like how they set up the weeks. I prefer mine Sunday through Saturday, but they do Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday at the end, which I know a lot of people prefer, but I just like setting mine up differently. I also do most of mine digitally, so I don't really use a scheduling book, but I do collect these because I like the covers and you can always take these out and put your own notebook inside of it. And last but not least, I really wanted to check out this adorable, adorable teacup. At least I think that's what's in here. Yes, that's what's in here. Sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I get something and I'm like, hmm, what did I order again? I love my kitchen wares. This is another Nakayoshi remake item. So first we have this light like pastel pink colored teacup and saucer set. So first we have the saucer, which has Luna and Artemis on it. Very cute little icons, really nice ceramic. I want to say it's ceramic. It's what it feels like. And then we have the teacup. So here's your teacup and it says Luna and Artemis, Naoko Takeuchi, Run Run. So this is from Run Run. So again, this is a remake of some vintage items that used to be available, but I'm glad that they do remakes so that I get access to them and I don't have to spend a fortune on something that somebody had previously used. I can just get something brand new. Super cute. What do you think? Let me know. Okay. I'm done. Oh my goodness. This was a lot of stuff in the fan club from the past year, but I hope that you enjoyed it. I know that that was a lot of items. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions about these products, definitely leave your questions down below. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching. Jane.